It all started with outrage. And the pressure eventually led to the release of an estimated 100 kidnapped girls. How could we have allowed that to happen? As a woman who had an education coming from the same region as these girls, I felt I needed to speak out. And it was defining because I actually had a voice. The Oyebodes are recognized across the globe for their leadership, compassion, and their work. What is your advice for girls who want to change the world? I think what, what education and what this environment gives you is the ability to think. Think of the world. Uh, think of your contribution to it. Um, not just from a career perspective, but think of all the different things that you think should be done differently and, and just go out there and achieve it. It's funny how we sometimes take our schools and our opportunities for granted. While stopping in several of our classrooms, the Oyebodes reminded us. You know, we're all natural born leaders. Um, we just don't know it. And I think the first thing is what we're doing here, making sure that we pay attention. The educational process is so important. In my father's family, all the girls got married at 13. I'm the first girl who didn't get married at 13. Today I'm standing here before you in a classroom. If I didn't have an education, if I didn't go to school, there's no way I'd, have, I'd be here standing and talking to you about this. I actually feel quite emotional. <laughs>